In Junior Achievement, we focus on three pillars of success. We focus on work readiness, we focus on financial literacy, and we focus on entrepreneurship. So when you have those three pillars, they intertwine to really become the foundation of the economy that we live in today. JA is one of the few organizations that's investing in youth now so they make better decisions along the way and we don't have to fix some of that stuff after the fact. What we can prove is if kids go through a JA class, they're more likely to stay in school. And if you stay in school, you have a shot. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go to college. But we do want to prepare kids to have that opportunity to go to college but there, there are other ways to, to be successful uh, uh, without that. When we do our job well, kids are more likely to understand how their educational choices equal uh, their earning potential in life, how you earn money, how you can succeed in the world of business, how jobs are ultimately created through entrepreneurship and business growth. Therefore, they have a fundamental understanding of and appreciation for business. We also have the opportunity to move into a deeper experience for students where they have a curriculum that they work on throughout the school year and then they actually go to a facility and work within JA BizTown or at a JA Finance Park. That allows the students to actually experience being an employee, being an employer, and being a citizen within the community at the JA BizTown level. If you saw the kids in these programs and how their eyes light up, that they get to be in charge of their future, they're in charge of their careers, they, they get a paycheck and they have to go to all these other shops and make decisions and allocate their paycheck out, um, it, it's, it's the coolest thing in the world. The relationship with Regions Bank for Junior Achievement, you know, not just here in Greater Birmingham or in the state of Alabama, um, but across the footprint has really been meaningful. We can't do what we do without our corporate partners, both certainly from a funding perspective as a nonprofit, but just as importantly, if not more importantly, it's the volunteers, it's the real world role models coming from the corporate world that get to walk into that classroom and say to these kids, well, you know, in my life or in my job or in my experience, this is why these things are important. And it's that volunteer component and connection that ultimately makes the big difference. I love each and every one of these children because I see my children in them. I see myself in them. Conversations that should be had that they might not be, you know, they don't have the opportunity to have with other people. They feel comfortable having that conversation with me. I open up that door for them. Those are my favorite parts when I'm able to see that you are actually listening. Anytime you get a kid to actually listen to you and take heed to everything that you're saying, that'll make you just feel absolutely amazing. Having people exposed to junior achievement and, and education and opportunities to do something with their lives, whether it be to go to college or go into business or go to a trade school, I mean, there are a host of opportunities. There's just no reason why every child can't have an opportunity.